Hey everybody, welcome back to my WordPress theme tutorial series on X by ThemeCo. Today, I'm going to give you an introduction to using Cornerstone, and I think you're going to really love building websites using Cornerstone. But before we get started, two quick things. One, if you don't already have a copy of X, you can get it by using the link down in the description below. And also, you'll want to make sure that you check the version of Cornerstone that you're using, because right now I'm using version 1.0.11, and I'm also using X version 4.3.0. So if what you see on your screen is not the same as what I am showing you, check the versions you're using because you might be using an older or perhaps a newer version. So with that being said, let's jump right into an introduction to Cornerstone. Now the goal for today is to just give you a basic introduction to how Cornerstone works and how to start building a page using Cornerstone. In future videos, I'm going to show you some more of the elements in more depth and show you how to really customize a page. But today, I'm just going to get you used to getting in and out of it and structuring a basic page. So the first thing, of course, that you want to do is to create a page. Hopefully, you already know how to do that by going to Pages and Add New. And today, I'm just going to make a page called Cornerstone. And then just to make this simple, I'm going to go over to the page template and I'm going to choose blank, no container header footer so that we don't have anything in the way like sidebars to distract us. I'm going to publish that so those characteristics are applied. And now we've got this page and we're going to go over here to the button where it says Cornerstone and we're going to click Edit with Cornerstone. Now when this loads, you're going to see basically exactly what your page looks like over here on the right section and on the left you're going to see the cornerstone features for you to work with and it says welcome to cornerstone and it says get started by adding sections to the layout pane and then it talks about adding elements and then looking at the inspector pane to alter its appearance here's what i want to tell you basically what you do is you build your page using sections and then add rows to sections and then perhaps columns to those rows, and then add your elements to those rows or columns. Let me show you what I mean. The first thing you want to do is click Add a Section. Now, we can also play with the templates, and those are super cool, but we're going to leave those for another video and just build our own page for now. Once you click Add a Section, you see that when you roll over this section right here, it highlights on the right side where that section is, and then inside that section, is a default column that it gives you right here. Now, if you'd like to add more than one section, you can click Add a Section again, and it will add a second section down here called Section 2 that's made up also with a default uh, column in it. And you can continue to add sections down the page, and then we can work within those sections to create content. So let's go ahead and put some content into Section 1 right now. And if we click on this area of the section, it gives us some ways to manage what that particular section looks like. For example, we can color the background of that section by clicking the little eyedropper tool here. And then we can click background color and choose any color we want for the background of that section. As you can see, it's very, very easy just by clicking around this little color palette here. And we'll just make something uh, just light gray just for now. You can pick any color you'd like. And then below, we can also choose margins for this particular section and padding and so forth. And I'll let you play with all of that uh, to see how it all works. And then there's a really powerful feature down here where you can hide this section based on the screen width, which I will get into that in another video as well. But for now, we've got the color here. You could also add an image for the background, which is really great, or even a video. Now let's go on to the next step by maybe choosing two columns for this section instead of one. So what we could do is we could click on Manage Layout, and then right here we've got one column, which you can see here, but maybe we want to do two columns, or perhaps a third and two-thirds, or two-thirds and one-third, and so on. You could even add your own custom layout uh, by just simply typing what you want here. Maybe you want uh, one-fifth and four-fifths, or whatever. You can type it right there, but we're just going to go with something simple that's one half and one half. Now that we've got that set up, we can then start adding elements to these columns here. Let me show you what I mean by that. 
When we go up here to the little cube icon, you click on that and that's uh, refers to the elements section. And here we've got all these different elements that we could add to that column. But we're going to do something just pretty simple today. You can either scroll down and look for it or we could just type text because I want to add text to this column and then I'm going to add a picture to this one. When I type text, uh, it sorts it and brings up the two items that we have for text. I'm going to choose this one and just drag it over here and drop it. And once it's there, I've then got this text element that I can work with. And if I click on it, it then gives me this whole panel here to start editing this particular text element. Now I'm going to just drop some filler text in there by using a little plugin I've got here. And I'm going to go to the visual tab and I'm going to then paste my text there. And you can see that it appears right here, just like that. If you'd like to change the color or bold or italicized or anything like that, it's very similar or it's exactly the same as the standard WordPress uh, text editor. So you can play with that there and do whatever you'd like with the text. And once you get that set, it's right there uh, and it's super easy to put in. Now let's add maybe a picture over here. I'm going to then go over to the elements tab again and I'm gonna type image and I'm going to pull it up and drag it right over here and drop it. And then now I can then click on the image right here and it then pulls up another dialog uh, area here for me to customize that particular image. Uh, if I want to put an image in there, I click the plus button right here where it says source and it takes you to your media library where I could choose a picture of myself here or just like normal WordPress uh, features. You can also upload your own right there. I'm going to choose this cheesy picture of myself because it makes it easy and insert into post. And now you see there's a great big picture of my face. Uh, so you see how easy that is. If you also wanted to play with the style of it, you could perhaps make it rounded just by clicking that. And you see it puts just little subtle uh, round corners on the picture. Or if you want to make it a circle, you can do that as well. And uh, as long as your picture is actually a square, it will work out quite well. I'll leave it as a circle just so you can see that. There are other features down here, like if you want the image to be clickable so it goes somewhere, you can turn on the link, uh, put the URL that it's going to go to, and some other details below that you can play with on your own. But that's how easy that is. Let's add a few more elements just so you can see how that works. I'll go up here. Let's say I want to add uh, maybe, I don't know, how about an accordion? We'll add an accordion right below this text right here. You can just drag an accordion right out here, drop it where you want it, and it has an accordion already started there for you. You just click on the accordion and you can customize the various accordion elements there. You can add a new one. Um, and then if you want to customize it by putting different titles here, you could say title one, and then you could paste some content here like we did before. Uh, you can play with which one starts being open and a few other details down below. But that's all it takes to add an accordion uh, using Cornerstone. Very, very easy again. Let's add a button down below just for one more thing. Um, I'll type button and then drag this over here. And in just a moment, I'll have a button here. And again, just like before, you click on the item and then you're able to customize it here by putting uh, different words here. Click this button and you can decide where that button goes to. You can have it open in a new window and so forth. You can also make it maybe a flat button or uh, maybe you want to make it a block button that goes across the entire section. You can add a marketing circle to draw some attention to it and really pretty much do almost anything you want to with that button below. Now, when you get all done with it, go ahead and click the save button. Or if you're like me, I click save quite often through the process just to make sure I don't lose anything. But I'll go ahead and click save. It lets you know that it's done. If you'd like to see what it looks like, you can go over to this uh, house button here and you can view the page. And there's the page we just made using Cornerstone. Incredibly fast and incredibly easy. So that's just a really brief overview of how great Cornerstone is and how easy it is to build excellent web pages using this great tool. I'm going to have a lot of other videos that will teach deeper uh, features that Cornerstone has. So be on the lookout for those. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. 
And also share these videos with your friends who are trying to learn X because I really think they're going to enjoy them a lot. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what other features you'd like me to teach because I'd be happy to make videos for those things as well. Have a great day. We'll see you online again soon. Go make something awesome.